Greetings, my YouTube and Facebook friends. I've been getting lots and lots and lots of questions about the CERN Hadron Superclutter. I've been watching this for years and years. I don't like it. But I decided to do some research to get the latest scoop. And here's a video uh, to share with you what's going on and what I, I believe is potentially going on with this. The CERN Hadron Super Collider, first of all, its logo is 666. You know that? And the CERN itself has, uh, the word has satanic and, de and demonic of properties from the old days. Let's go ahead and go through some things that are happening with it. From March and May, the CERN Hadron Super Collider will have proton collisions at 14 TeV, enabling the highest energy particle collisions ever attempted. This is uncharted territory in the field of physics and can open hidden dimensions to help explain the mysteries of gravity, possibly open, opening portals to new dimensions. See, there are ten dimensions in the universe, but humans can only see three. Do angels and demons dwell in some of those other seven dimensions? I'm sure they do. Could God use wicked man as he has many times in the past to help destroy himself by opening portals to demons and allowing a huge flood of demons to enter our dimension? I believe so. This would definitely bolster the alien excuse as well that the imminent rapture is going to be blamed on the aliens. And I believe fully that aliens may visit the earth post-rapture and tell all those left behind that they're the ones who took all of us and possibly even identify Barack Hussein Obama as their god to kick him off as being the Antichrist when he's Satan incarnate. Lastly, the CERN scientists say this process may even create black holes. Small ones, albeit, but still, who knows what can become of this, because black holes are very, very touchy things. <laughs> very interesting, my friends. Very, very interesting. We are so close to the rapture. The signs are everywhere. And everywhere you look, if you have any discernment, which sadly few of us do, you'll see the rapture is right on the doorstep. And those who aren't ready will be left here for seven years of hell on earth that will rip your life to shreds. About two-thirds of the earth's population is going to die. Horrific, terrible deaths. And men's hearts are going to fail them due to fear. If God didn't intervene, no one would be left alive. Most Christians are going to be right here with the unsaved as well. You know why? Because they live polluted, filthy lives. They won't repent of their sins after they're saved. Well, the Bible says at least 250 times you have to. I've got all the scripture. Message me. i got all the scripture, 150, that proves the rapture is pre-trib. Message me for that as well. If you don't, it's between you and God. <laughs> I'm a watchman. I put the word out. The rest is between you and God. But I've got a prayer in the box below the video title. If you've never been saved or you're a backslider, pray that prayer and do those six vital next steps as soon as the video is over because no one's guaranteed any more time in their lives, my friends. If like me to pray for you, contact me, and I'll pray for you every day. God answers that prayer. It's all because of him. Nothing to do with me. True Christians keep witnessing and praying. If they won't listen, it's between them and God. But look up. Our different draweth nigh. We fly soon. Bye.